Our final Cascades Conference matchup of Week 4 is Hanover Horton, 2-1, and one, traveling to Vandercook Lake, who is 0-3. Uh, Hanover Horton looked really good last week. Uh, 42-6 win over Manchester. Uh, I mean, held, held Manchester to negative points, or excuse me, <laughs> hard to do that, to negative rushing yards, negative 20 rushing yards, and... Uh, and uh, had no problem moving the ball on offense, uh, 42 points, season high. Um, Frank Bird and Dakota Manny, um, I mean, both are, ju are just really elusive runners when they get the ball in their hands. And, uh, and Ty Lapshen as well, uh, he's a real slasher when he runs. But the person I'm looking for a little more from is Chandler Garcia Vance. We talked a lot about him. Uh, in the preseason, uh, I mean, Hanover Horton athletes were saying how they were that was the guy they were scared to tackle in practice. If he was running at you, it was like, hey, like let's just let him run by and get a touchdown because because no one wanted to deal with that load. And and he really hasn't put it together. He's uh, um, usually right around 50, 60, 70 rushing yards. I'm waiting for a big game. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, I know he's not going to blaze by a bunch of people and outrun everyone, but I mean, he can run some people over. So, and this a, a smaller team uh, with with not much defense uh, to be heard. Of uh, I think this is going to be a big week for Chandler uh, and Vandercook Lake has to figure out how to um, stop someone defensively. Uh, 40, 40, and 58. Those are the the opposition's point totals um, in the first three weeks. And Vandercook Lake has scored seven, uh, 29 against East Jackson, and then 13 last week against Addison. So I mean, it's there's just not a whole heck of a lot going on. With Vander Cook Lake, I mean, Tim Goff, he said as much. Um, he said, hey, I'm implementing a new scheme offensively and defensively. And this is not, uh, uh, this team wasn't a playoff team last year. It didn't have a lot of experience. Um, I mean, Vander Cook Lake only won one, one game last year. Combine that, lose some seniors, implement a new system, and there's going to be some bumps and bruises. I mean, you can you can understand why Vander Cook Lake has taken a little while to get this thing together. But, um, I mean, there's patience over there. There There's no rush for this season as long as, as I'm going to keep saying it, as long as you see improvement from week to week, um, I don't think there's that much more you can ask for this year. So uh, I'll be interested to see if Vander Cook Lake can look formidable against a Hanover Horton team that's uh, given a lot of teams uh, some trouble this year. Uh, good win against Concord. Um, couldn't really get it going against Michigan Center like we alluded to, but then righted the ship last week against Manchester. And uh, I expect to see another high-scoring performance uh, out of Hanover Horton this week.